my entire other video corrupted because my camera dropped so I'm not going to touch anything and hopefully nothing goes wrong that was, that was not fun but man I reached my goal of master and it wasn't super satisfying it wasn't super how do I say this rewarding it was like yeah boom I got it boom now okay what next and then from then on I kind of just coped I kind of just like said mm, maybe I'll do this maybe I'll do that maybe I'll do this there wasn't a sure like end goal afterwards you know and for me that was like just, it was just an eye opening experience on how success is and I want you the viewer to understand how success is what do you imagine success is do you imagine it yourself being incredibly incredibly happy like a childish level of happiness like yeah, me, yeah I made it and I had made the, like the analogy before like as your as you grow up you become less stupid so your capacity to be uh, blissfully happy is great and greatly reduced I don't know if this is based on some specific scientific study but this is the general consensus I feel like and I've seen like and I think like for the majority of people worldwide I made that analogy before but like is is the childish happiness childish like gleeful yippee type is that a lie when you have success and I think it is like, because when you reach when you do reach success you'll be on this um, thing mountain or incredibly fast upwards like you're like everyone else is climbing the mountain with their the fucking the pikes and then you'll be blasting through the mountain so, uh, weird thing because you decided to buy a company that makes a fucking railway up mountains and you can just shring a railway up there and then you put a train there you know what I'm saying you just go up the mountain easily so like you won't notice success will just like just be there you know and I, I think a lot of seconds is going to be like that for me and for a lot of other people as well see my, my head looks, boy, looks massive here Jesus Christ <laughs> yeah that's why I think it will be um, and that's what I cut that's the main general, general success of the video I cut like what do you think success is going to be because I think success, because personally I think success is going to be you becoming that multi-millionaire okay now you can buy the thousands like you like you like you but you're going to get used to it quick I might be cool for a week but humans are creatures that are used to things very very quickly you'll get used to a minute quick you just won't have this overnight stress anymore but then like some other thing will be stressing you something will pop up and those previously small problems will become big problems you know that's how you see all rich people always like, tense over small problems like I remember Patrick Bateman in the movie American Psycho worrying over how he could get a table at this particular restaurant and if it was still available or not um, and <laughs> He was so worried about it, as if it was going to crush him, like, as if it was a, a incredibly soul-crushing thing to uh, undertake, but it wasn't. It was a small problem, but for a guy like him who has everything, it seemed like a big problem, you know? And I think that that, that continue might happen to me as well. It's fucking bugs in my room, man. And yeah, I worried about that, and I worried that about that a lot. <laughs> worried about that a lot. Like, am I going to become a millionaire? Like, I don't know why I'm saying this shit. I should just try to become a millionaire. But, like, am I going, uh, am I going to become a millionaire and not be happy? Yeah. I just accept that as the truth. Because that's how I, I uh, perceive success. I reached Master and Apex Legends. And then I will be make, I make another video, like, after three years, four years of grinding. Yeah, I'm a multi millionaire now. Hey, guys, you see when I come up, it takes two, three, four, five years of, you know, hard work, dedication, moving towards the right goalposts every single goddamn day, etc., etc., etc. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not entirely happy. I'm mean, get the truth. That's the most vulnerable moment. That's the most vulnerable thing. You're not vulnerable. Um, this whole channel is being being vulnerable. I mean, being honest. It's going to be my most like, honest, truthful moment. Like, I want to be in a house in Bali. And then I'm going to just cut the video. And you'll see me go from Bali to Vietnam. Because I'll record the video in two parts. But I'll keep it. And then I'll go for it in Vietnam. I'm not going to go private the jet. Because... Even if I'm multi-millionaire, I, I feel like a bit of waste of money. <laughs> well, I'm not there yet, so I might have to private jet it. Private jet, go to Vietnam, and then I'll be in my house in Vietnam, and in that mega mansion, I want to be like, mm, yeah, I'm in a different country now. I bring two guys up from here. This is what it is. But yeah, a lot of 
family just doesn't take it off. I think that's that's only pretty much it, like family, uh, food, water, car, bills, rent. I mean, often pay all this shit off. Boom, 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 boom. That was two thousand a month. You know, kind of just chilling. Like, what the fuck? What what is what is money anymore? You know? And uh, I think that's going to be the whole the whole thing for me. when it happens. That's about it. My name is Arthur again, it's so annoying man. Um, regardless of boxing, because I was gaming so much. Like, I, I missed my appointment with my mentor today, and I also missed... I also missed something else, I missed a, a, my boxing sessions. I'm missing a lot of boxing sessions recently. This week I should have went, I didn't go. Uh, yeah, today was Tuesday, right? I think today was Tuesday. Today's Wednesday. But yesterday was Tuesday, it's only 1 until 20 a.m. I haven't went, but I probably, I have to go like next month, month, like no matter what happens, I have to go Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, no matter how I feel, I will go training, and I will spend nine pounds, and I will go fucking early, 4 p.m. I'll be, 4, 5 p.m. I'll be there, not 5 p.m. I'll be there, 5 to 9, 4 hour training session, just getting, just getting absolutely, utterly shredded, that's the only thing I to do. Anyways, that's going to be the end of this video, like, I don't know what else to say, honestly, like, um, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna say. I, I got I got Master in Apex Legends, bro. I grinded so hard for Master in Apex Legends, and I caught it. I streamed pretty much the whole thing from Silver. And that's it, like. The fuck. That's it. That's success. That's gonna be more time it is for me. I'm gonna be in a bigger house. I'm gonna have a nicer car. I'm gonna have a car. That's what I'm gonna work on. A nice, nicer car. Um. My mom probably be less stressful. I'm a very happy person. She gets to, you know, be mom. Not, not necessarily mom anymore, but like, have more fun in her life. Uh, fun. Uh, I won't be that honest. Like, while well, well, I think it's fun to watch TV shows, I doubt that she do that all the time. I think it's a in my activity. In reality, it's like a TV show, then she'll probably be more immersed in reality, and she'll probably have more fun in general. Uh, yeah, just probably something like that. I, what the fuck? Like, yeah, I paid, yeah, I paid, yeah, I paid. And I'll just, whatever. Like, oh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be, like, just whatever, you know? And it's like, oh, 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 oh. Because every time she's, I pay, she be like, oh, wow, okay, oh, okay. But, like, and then I just move on quickly because, not, because I treat it like not a big deal, which is the whole way you're supposed to go about it. Because, you know, her mind is like, oh my god. You know, like a fucking woman psychology. Why don't I say it like that? I'm a fucking asshole, like my old mom, bro. Community cycle of four laws of power, psychological tricks, the law, the law of attraction. No, was it The Art of Seduction? That's his book, Rob Green. I should read, but honestly, I'm, I'm gonna be dead off to you. I'm not a fan of Robert Green's books, that shit is just not related to me at all. It doesn't feel real. There's, I, I see part of that, like that play out, but like for the most part, when he describes it, it feels fictional. It doesn't feel real. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to use the techniques, oh, the book's so bad. I, I hyped up the book like it's something grandiose and it's something insanely, oh my god. But like, bro, like, oh my god, they banned 48 laws of power from prison, how could they, oh my god, it's such a powerful book. They can manipulate the fucking thing of the guards and shit. But then if you think about it, most of the inmates in prison are like psychotic in general and they have like bad intentions with anyway. If you're no a regular person, you Power, you'll probably see power dynamics act in play. However, you probably are very, very unlikely to actually use those power uh, thing manipulation tactics. That is actually fucking power, power play, manipulating people because the majority of them don't really give a fuck. We're also busy with our own lives. Like, how can we really give a fuck about what I want him to do? What I do? Well, uh, uh, uh. Only people that are like prison prisoners who have infinite free time and um, the life is a very, very stressful will actually use manipulation tactics because it will help them survive and it will help them potentially escape, you know, um, and get more free time, get food, etc, etc, like, fucking that type of shit, man. That's the only time it will be used in an environment like that where people are very, very desperate and people have a lot of free time. But for the most part, a lot of people in this modern day are so distracted by social media and they're so busy with all their lives. And busy doesn't necessarily mean, like, oh, I'm always working, etc, etc, it busy means, like, they're fucking distracted, busy being fucking drones on their phone, on their bed, just TikTok scrolling, like that's what I mean by busy. 
so <laughs> I, I doubt the book it, it is good. it's a good book but like, it's usually like say hi uh, make people feel comfortable superior um, well, uh, this Chinese guy from 4,000 years ago look at him enemies are uh, a thing uh, the best friends you can make etc etc they have more to prove that type of shit man that's all I can tell you um, yeah, I'm running the video here. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Wow, so I'm on a YouTuber now, guys. Uh, let me know if you're down Peace. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I'm gonna dab that. I can't lie. I'm actually such a fucking idiot, man. It's like, it's in my genes to be a cringe nerd. <laughs>